Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Stormy with Icon Collective, and today we're gonna to be going over sampling analog instruments. Today I'm gonna to be using the Moog Sub Fatty, which is great for any kind of bass music, dubstep, electro, pretty much anything you're trying to get that really crunchy bass out of. I'm gonna show you a track I'm currently working on. So first we're going to talk about how to set one of these things up. If you have a Moog Sub Fatty, all you're going to have to do is run the USB into your computer, which is going to give you the MIDI, and then an audio into your sound card, which is going to give the audio to the computer. So basically setting that up on the computer, you're going to make sure and go to your preferences, make sure your audio input is whatever your sound card is, and then also you're going to have to drop an external instrument onto a MIDI track you will be MIDI to the Moog Sub Fatty, and then your audio will be coming from whatever your audio input is. And now we're gonna be ready to record some audio. If you have some MIDI already ready to go, all you have to do is pretty much just press play. And as you can see, it's picking up in the audio right here. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to arm the track, and we're gonna have to click record, and it'll start recording the audio. Okay, usually when I'm doing this, I like to get a couple different samples. I like to move some of the knobs and get some different samples, and I like to label them as well. So I'll label this one just open filter. Okay, I'm gonna go through again, and I'm gonna start moving some knobs on here. got that one and let's go ahead and we'll do one more with the filter open and I'm gonna train I'm gonna change the frequency on here which will give it a pretty cool metallic sound All right, now that we have this audio ready to go, we're gonna go into some audio manipulation and effects and how to get a bit, pretty much a bigger sound out of this bass. I like to start with a little bit of ping pong delay. Not too wet, but a decent amount on there. Kind of get some echo back and forth going on there. I also love the Convolution Reverb Pro that Max for Live does. It gives a really good reverb sound. Drop that wet a little bit more as well. So we got some cool effects going. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting this up now and using some of the parts to kind of recreate it. Let's see what we got here, cut this. I like to reverse stuff a lot as well. It gives a cool little sound. You see pretty fast you can just start building basically almost a new melody out of some of these things. Take these different parts and throw them in there. Just kind of experiment with what you're doing. Basically recreating the sound and kind of making it work for whatever song you're doing. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this production tip and thank you guys for watching.